All right, back to some fractions. Um, not a big deal. Okay, so remember, just using inverse operations. Um, I'm actually, this one's actually not that bad, so I'm going to actually do this both ways. We can use the inverse operations again just by subtracting one fourth, right? You subtract one fourth by one fourth. The reason why I said this wasn't so bad is these have the same denominator, so it's going to be it's going to be really easy to, to subtract. Three fourths minus one fourth is two fourths. So the over three equals two fourths. Now to undo division, I need to multiply by three on both sides of equal sign. Remember, three can be represented as three over one. When you multiply fractions, you get two times three, which is six. Four times one is four. C equals six fourths, which can be reduced um, to three over two. Now the other way, the way that I always like to tell, but this one wasn't that bad. But a lot of times when you have fractions, I like to say just get rid of it. So find the least common multiple um, of your denominators, which we call the least common denominator. And that number was 12. So what you could do is you can re, if I was to redo this problem a different way, because a lot of times they're not always going to be this simple, what I would do is I would multiply every term by 12. So I'm just showing you this way in case you have fractions that don't work out as easy as these did. So if you multiply everything by 12, now let's just simplify it. 12 times c over 3, um, 12 times c is 12c, divided by 3 is now going to be uh, 4c, and then 12 times 1 fourth is going to be positive 3, and then 12 um, equals 3 times uh, 12, and then divided by 4, which is going to equal 9. Now I can just solve it using a two-step equation. Subtract 3, because we always undo addition and subtraction first. Then divide by 4, which you can see is my exact same answer. 6 fourths, which reduces down to 3 halves. There you go.